Inspiration Loudon's Kids Life Online. We're in the great outdoors today to talk about a little guy who didn't think it was so great. In fact, he called it the unknown. Into the unknown. He was scared of every bit of it. The trees, the grass, everything that was outside of his little tree. So let's go read his story now. Today's book is Scaredy Squirrel by Melanie Watt. Scaredy Squirrel never leaves his nut tree. Home sweet home. The unknown. He'd rather stay in his safe and familiar tree than risk venturing out into the unknown. The unknown can be a scary place for a squirrel. A few things Scaredy Squirrel is afraid of. Tarantulas, poison ivy, green Martians, killer bees, germs, sharks. So he's perfectly happy to stay right where he is. Advantages of never leaving the nut tree. Great view, plenty of nuts, safe place. No tarantulas, poison ivy, green Martians, killer bees, germs, or sharks. Disadvantages of never leaving the nut tree. Same old view, same old nuts, same old place. In Scaredy Squirrel's nut tree, every day is the same. Everything is predictable. All is under control. On Monday, he's in the nut tree. Tuesday, nut tree. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, he's in the nut tree. Saturday, Sunday, he's in the nut tree. Scaredy Squirrel's daily routine. 6.45 a.m. Wake up. 7 a.m. Eat a nut. 7.15 a.m. Look at view. 12 o'clock noon. Eat a nut. 12.30 p.m. Look at view. 5 p.m. Eat a nut. 5.31 p.m. Look at view. 8 o'clock p.m. Go to sleep. But let's just say, just for example, that something unexpected did happen. You can rest assured that this squirrel is prepared. A few items in Scaredy Squirrel's emergency kit. Parachute, bug spray, mask and rubber gloves, hard hat, antibacterial soap, calamine lotion, net. Band-Aid, sardines. What to do in case of an emergency, according to Scaredy Squirrel. Dramatization. Step one, panic. Step two, run. Step three, get kit. Step four, put on kit. Step five, consult exit plan. Step six, Exit tree, if there is absolutely, definitely, truly no other option. Exit plan, top secret. I am here. Exit one, note to self, watch out for green Martians and killer bees in the sky. Exit two, note to self, do not land in river. If unavoidable, use sardines to distract sharks. Exit three, note to self. Look out for poison ivy and for tarantulas roaming the ground. Exit four, note to self. Keep in mind that germs are everywhere. Remember, if all else fails, playing dead is always a good option. With his emergency kit in hand, Scaredy Squirrel watches. 
day after day he watches, until one day. Thursday, 9.37 a.m. A killer bee appears! Scaredy Squirrel jumps in panic, knocking his emergency kit out of the tree. This was not part of the plan. Scaredy Squirrel jumps to catch his kit. He quickly regrets this idea. The parachute is in the kit. But something incredible happens. He starts to glide. Scaredy Squirrel is no ordinary squirrel. He's a flying squirrel. Scaredy Squirrel forgets all about the killer bee, not to mention the tarantulas, poison ivy, green martians, germs, and sharks. He feels overjoyed, adventurous, carefree, alive, score 5.7, until he lands in a bush and plays dead. 30 minutes later, one hour later, two hours later. Finally, Security Squirrel realizes that nothing horrible is happening in the unknown today. So he returns to his nut tree. All this excitement has inspired Security Squirrel to make drastic changes to his life. Scaredy Squirrel's new and improved daily routine. 6.45 a.m. Wake up. 7 a.m. Eat a nut. 7.15 a.m. Look at view. 9.37 a.m. Jump into the unknown. 9.45 a.m. Play dead. 11.45 a.m. Return home. 12 noon. Eat a nut. 12.30 p.m. Look at view. 5 p.m. Eat a nut. 5.31 p.m. Look at view. 8 p.m. Go to sleep. P.S. As for the emergency kit, Scaredy Squirrel is in no hurry to pick it up just yet. Do you see where the emergency kit is? It's in the poison ivy! The end. Scaredy Squirrel finally got into the unknown, didn't he? And it was awesome! I'm going to tell you a story about another person who was a little bit like Scaredy Squirrel. His name was Moses, and he's in the Bible. So Moses had run away from home because he had done something bad and he didn't want to get in trouble for it. So he's out tending sheep when he suddenly sees a bush burning. It's just on fire. So he does what anybody else would do. He goes over and goes, what in the world is up with this fire? It's not burning down. And it just kept burning and burning. And then he heard God's voice say, Moses, take off your shoes. You are on holy ground. I am the God of your ancestors and I need you to do something for me. Get my people away from Pharaoh. Do you think Moses said, sure God, whatever you want? No, not Moses. He hit his face and said, why, why me? God said, I'll be with you and you'll bring the people back here. Moses said, what if they ask what's the name of this God that is telling you to do this? God must have been a little bit annoyed at this point, but he said, tell them I am who I am. I'm the God of your father and your father's father and your father's father's father. And Moses said, um, what if they don't believe me? So God said, throw down that staff you have in your hand. And so Moses did, and it became a snake. And God said, pick it up by the tail. And Moses did, and it became a staff again. And God said, if they don't believe you, I'll help you do all sorts of miraculous things to, tr to prove it. So Moses said, but God, I can't talk right. And please send someone else. God said, fine, I'll send your brother with you. 
but go. Moses had all sorts of excuses for why he couldn't do what God asked him to do, didn't he? Do we sometimes come up with reasons that we can't do what God asks us to do or what mom and dad ask us to do? <sighs> maybe, maybe we're kind of like Moses. We basically say, I can't do this. Do you feel that way sometimes? Well, you know what? Sometimes we don't think we're strong enough. But you know who is? God. God is always strong enough. With God's help, we've got all the strength and the courage that we need. You know what else? Moses became a hero who did great things and who led the Israelites out of Egypt after all. Sometimes all it takes is to trust that God is with us and that he will give us the strength to do the hard things. Take a step into the unknown. And even if you feel like playing dead, just go ahead and try whatever it is. Maybe you can do the impossible. I hope you enjoyed Kids Life Online this week. I'll see you next week. Bye.